Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. Last week, we talked about self-trust. Do you remember? Remember we said, remember how it felt when you put a child up on top of a china closet and say, jump? And they jumped? Why? Why would you do that? Because you had self-trust. You had self-trust in yourself. Now imagine a world without self-trust. What would it be like? See, would you ask your child to jump if you didn't have self-trust? So if you don't have self-trust, what are those other things that you're not asking others to do? I think the impact of not having self-trust is huge. And so with that in mind, we talked about an exercise. You know, the the keep, the K... Make, keep, repeat. So let me ask you a question. Smile if you've ever set, have you, if you've ever made a self-commitment and not kept it. That's like ever set a goal and not commit, made a self-commitment and not kept it. Smile, okay? Now, keep smiling if you've ever set that same commitment or that same goal and didn't keep it. Keep smiling. Keep smiling if you've ever set that very same goal again. That very same commitment again. I'm not going to do that anymore. Or I'm going to do this. And not kept it. Now laugh, laugh, if you said it again and not commit, and not in the commitment and not honored it. I'll bet some of us are laughing uncontrollably. It's become a pattern. And it's a pattern that affects and destroys our own self-trust. And without that self-trust, who are we as leaders? Who are we? MKR. So I took my own advice. Last week, I picked out some small thing and made a commitment to myself that I would not do that anymore. It was just a small commitment. I'm embarrassed to say what it was, but it was, don't take my phone with me to the bathroom. And... I have now given myself a gift of so many hours over the next year. And I'm not going to tell you how many because it's embarrassing. But it's a gift when I realize it. And I have committed to it and I've increased my self-trust. Now it's time to repeat. Make, keep, repeat. So I've got a list of small things where I've made commitments to myself. And I'm going to start attacking them one at a time. And you know what? I'm going to build my self-trust esteem, my self-trust, and I think it will make us all better leaders. Will you join me? You know, I was cleaning out my desk and I found a note to myself. I don't know when it came. It was an old down in the pile, but I'm not sure where I got it or if it was a thought that I just wrote down. But here's what it said. Success. Success is determined through the performance of a few small steps of daily achievements that stack up over time to produce achievements far beyond anything we could have ever planned for. The reverse of that is failure is nothing more than the inevitable outcome of a few small daily steps that we neglect to perform consistently over time. Now, let me say this. You want to be a better leader? If you believe in prayer, then pray and seek for strength to change your circumstances, rather than praying for your circumstances to change. You see, it comes in just small steps, and we can do it. You can do it. Just make a small step and practice it. Make it. Keep it. And once you keep it, you have the self-esteem and courage to make another one. Make it, keep it, repeat it. Make life meaningful. Be a river. Control your flow. Don't be a reservoir just filling up, not not flowing. Be the river. I'll talk to you next week. Make life meaningful. Have a great week.